Hi there, Astrid here with Asterix Arts. Uh, I just have a quick little mini. Um, this was uh, driven by the paper I found, actually. It's this little paper pad, a little it's 12 by 12, Cheeky Monkey, it's from Hobby Lobby. And the monkeys on it just, I thought, were the cutest little thing. And so I ended up making this book for a friend of ours that has two little munchkins, a one-year-old boy and a five-year-old girl. And uh, so this is what came up with that. Um, kind of interesting because the only thing I used in this whole album, other than scrap card, uh, chipboard, the rings and seam binding, and then some of the tags are out of um, just cardstock. Everything else, all the decorations are from the paper. I did not use any other embellishments. So that was kind of uh, fun. Um, so this here is on one of the papers. I ended up just copying and making it bigger to make it the title. Just uh, backed it on some other paper. I did a, some fussy cutting my first time really doing any of that. Um, so I have this little guy peeking out from behind and then all of these just put on top and raised up on pop dots. And same with the monkey. I don't know if you can see him there. Um, so he's, there you go, um, up there. And then some of, the, some of the words put in between. I used rings. I, if you can see here, I was using my bind it all, but I only had inch uh, wide rings, and they weren't quite big enough. So I ended up um, just putting rings on it. And then I dyed the um, seam binding with yellow ink and then just dabs of little brown to make it kind of look like a banana. So anyway, so and this is made with uh, uh, Michael's uh, uh, collection envelopes and cards. Um, so on this page, in the inside, I ended up doing um, a pocket with just, uh, again, some of the cutouts. Sorry, cutouts. I made two tags, and that's, uh, you can see there, um, I put their names on it to designate that this book is for them. Did a lot of the little cutouts to uh, put on the tags. Um, these little tags are the journaling tags. I stamped the back. One of the pages comes just, it's all these little circles, and I used my one-inch punch and punched them out and used them as tab poles. Um, I had a stencil, it's a zebra print stencil, that I just used some green uh, dye glimmer mist that I had um, to stencil them and then just did a little border. And then I, each one has little different uh, cutouts on it. Um, I had some time at work. Uh, so, so these are uh, the big tags. There's several of them in the uh, book for our pictures and then uh, lots of these for her to journal on. So then this is the first page. Now I've seen these done with the um, all of them directed this way that uh, you open the card and it's there's the envelope and then you slide it in like this so there's the card and again, I made a pocket there with a tag um, and then I just put little holders down here to put the slip the tags behind and there's the back um, and so then you have the envelope in this direction again I just put little things there another one of the little tags different stamp there for journaling um, but because not all pictures are in the uh, portrait lands, uh, portrait direction, I decided to flip half of them. So half of them are in the landscape direction. Um, just on the back here, I just put a little strip back down here for so she can still put a full size picture here, and then just uh, uh, slip the tag in there. So it's, these are all open. And so this is then the landscape direction. So this just flips up. It has a tag up here, the big one for pictures, and then the little ones for journaling. And again, there's a, a pocket. So this slips out the top part, there's the bottom, and then this is the front, of course, and there's the back. The, I'd left them plain to keep it um, slim in the envelopes. So this slides back in there. And then again, the little um, holder tag holder down here. This is one of the bigger tags I just used, I think I just used one eight or a couple of eight by uh, elevens uh, to make all these little tags out of. Actually, I think I only used one. But um, then this is the back of the envelope. And again, just a, a tag there. And as I said, she could slip a whole picture there and then just put this in on top. Um, again, there's, so I'll just go through this because the design is the same, these pull out. Um, and then there's the tag. Tag. And then this is the back of it. And I just love this paper. I had so much fun making this. Actually, and I used every little piece. Anything that didn't fit on the pages, I used for these little tag holders. Um, and then these are the papers I used as cutouts. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. Um, these all, almost all the papers have some kind of glossy accent. So on this one, it's the leaves and the bananas. This one's actually plain. Um, so the banana cutouts are coming from this paper, I believe, and uh, some of the words as well. And so this one here flips up in the pocket there. 
that's on this one, on this paper here, it's the flowers that are uh, shiny. I love the bamboo paper, that's why I used it on the inside front. Um, so it goes back in there, and then there's the thing back. Um, this one here with all the crazy sayings, uh, it's a matte finish, but uh, because it's busy already. Um, and then plain yellow, and little tag there. And this one here, I, so that's where most of the uh, monkey faces come from is this paper, and they're all shiny there. Um, there you can see the glimmer. And uh, those. Um, I think there's room for over 36 pictures in this uh, album. So then this is the darker version of the print. And on this one here, it's the, the flowers, again, that are the shiny. And the monkeys there. And I love this one. Their little round bellies and silly faces are just too funny. Um, Oh, that's right. On this one, it's the hearts and monkeys that are shiny. And then the back of the last page is just very simple. With the little monkey face there. Oh, monkey business. And then on the back, I just left these plain for her to, to do whatever she wants. And then again, one of the little journaling tags and just some cutouts here. And I left the back very plain, just my logo there. So, like I said, it was a quick little album. It was a lot of fun to do, and I'll be making a, a second one for my own. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.